Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Bradburn from TopTipBio.com and in this quick tip video tutorial I'm going to show you how to identify and remove outliers from data. So inside GraphPad I have some data of 22 values and what I want to do is to remove potential outliers from this data. To remove outliers in GraphPad you want to click the Analyze button and then under column analyses you want to select identify outliers and click the OK button. There are three methods available in PRISM to remove outliers and note that these tests assume that your data has a Gaussian distribution. The first is the route method and this method can find any number of outliers. The route method is the recommended outlier test of choice for detecting multiple outliers. Second, the GRUBS method can identify only one outlier so only use the GRUBS method when you know your data has one or zero outliers. And lastly, there's also the iterative GRUBS method. And like the standard GRUBS method, this method can detect more than one outlier. And it does so by simply repeating the GRUBS method on the clean data to detect a further outlier. It is advised to avoid using this particular method. So I'm going to select the recommended method, which is the route method. Next, you need to specify how aggressive you want to be when you remove your outliers. And you do so by using this slider below. Since the route method is based on the false discovery rate, you have to specify a Q value. Q is the chance of identifying one or more outliers. By going to the far left, the lower the Q value, this is stricter and will remove less outliers. If you go to the far right, the higher the Q value, this is more lenient and will remove more outliers. So which Q value do you use? GraphPad recommends you start at a Q value of 1% and see how that goes and you can adjust from that. If you add subcolumns in your data, the subcolumns perimeters will become available where you can average your replicates in each row, perform the calculation for each subcolumn separately, or treat all the values in all the subcolumns as one data set. Don't forget that there is always the learn button at the bottom to read more about identifying outliers on the GraphPad user guide website. So I'm going to click the OK button to run the outlier test. The results are presented in the new result sheet, and this is split into three tabs. Summary, which displays what method was used in the outlier test, the number of data points analyzed, and the number of outliers detected. For my data, there was one outlier that was detected. The next tab, outliers, will tell you which data point, so number 21 in this example, and the value of that data point, which was classed as the outlier. And lastly, the third tab will include the cleaned data, so this is now my data with my outlier removed and with this results sheet you can actually use as a basis for performing additional analyses such as further statistical tests. So in this quick tip video tutorial you've learned how to detect and remove outliers from data in GraphPad.